Do you have Thanksgiving on your brain? Hmm. Are you hosting? Are you going to a small gathering? Do you need an idea for a side dish or like a cold salad or room temp salad or a hot side dish? I don't know where to go with this because it's all of those in one. Okay, we're gonna be fancy, we're gonna be easy, we're gonna be delicious, we're gonna be impressive. That's what this dish is gonna do for you. Um, I've done them before. I can send you the recipe if you DM me. We just can't eat some pecans. I have them all the time on hand because I love them. I put them in salads. Try and be healthy and put them in salads. I eat them alone in the pantry when I'm sad. Put them on my cheese board. I always, always have candy pecans. Raisins. I am the Ocean Spray band. Uh, Ocean Spray brand is fine. Half a log with a small one. Oh, of uh, goat cheese, garlic, fresh herbs, rosemary, thyme, a little parsley, and baby carrots. Now, this takes a normal carrot dish to the fancy level. They're cute, they got little green tops on them. Wash them, towel dry them. And I'll show you what we're gonna do. I guess I should have said what we were making in the beginning. I'm about to cut the carrots because I need time. So we're gonna roast to these carrots with the fresh herbs, olive oil, garlic, salt and pepper. You can immediately serve them right after by crumbling the goat cheese, craisins, pecans on it and making it a warm dish. But I personally have arugula. I'm gonna let the carrots cool to room temp and assemble them on top of some arugula. And now I'm bringing a side dish slash salad to anyone's house. And I'm also taking your basic vegetable and changing it up because who has on their list corn, mashed potatoes, stuffing, all the same stuff. It's either kale or Brussels sprouts or string beans. Let's make it fun. And you know what I love about this? It's colorful, colorful, color, love it. So I want them all pretty much the same size, even though some carrots are bigger. So if you get a really thick carrot, cut it in half again. Um, but pretty much you want to have the same consistency and size because they're going to get cooked all together. So leave the stem on. That's why they're fancy. Don't take the stem off for that. Don't waste, they're a little more expensive. Don't waste the money, just use normal carrots. You can also do this, I love doing it with rainbow carrots. So I'll mix a parsnip in there, but I'll get the rainbow carrot bag when they're in season. Um, but yeah, just I washed, towel dried them, and now I'm cutting them up. We're gonna get them in a bowl and show you our seasoning. So my herbs, rosemary, I'm just pulling, holding the top. Put it in front of you so you can see my carrots are here. Just pulling straight down, all of them come off. Clip the flower of the head. Once again, hold the tip of the stem, run your fingers down, all your rosemary will come off. Um, I tend to like that rustic, rough look when you're cooking. So, like the parsley, I'm taking the stem off. I'm just tearing this with my hands. I'm not giving it the perfect chop by any means. Same thing, I have some thyme. I just don't want the stems in. So I'm literally sliding my finger down, putting the herbs in. Um, this is a rustic side dish. It's fun, it's big, it's not. First of all, whoever said cooking had to be perfect? The French? I mean, they do have good food, but come on. We can, we can change it up a little bit. So once again, all my herbs in here. And then what I'm doing, I have a little bit more, but I'll show you this real quick. The garlic, I'm doing my smash. And with my hand, I'm just breaking it up. So I couldn't show you the enough angle on my camera. The garlic so cook up and crisp, so you don't need to worry about it. Kind of like a, a chunky paste. Sheet pan, you know I like my foil, people. You know I like it. So I'm just taking the lid off because I need this to pour. You really want to get a nice coating on these carrots. Olive oil, good amount of salt. You can add any other seasoning you want into this. Um, you know, if you did, if you want, I think there's enough sweetness to it. You could add a little cinnamon, but I really just want to keep this super clean. Um, look at that, nice big toss. And because you did a good amount of olive oil in here, don't worry about your pan, it should be no problem. Pour these on out. 
face them so they cook nice and even. I know that I salt and pepper, but I'm going to toss a little bit more. And see on the bottom? Don't you dare leave that behind. Good stuff. Spread out the herbs all over. Scrape. We do not waste here. Oh, clean bowls, people. Clean bowls. Boom. Really hot oven. 400. I want them to cook, but stay crunchy. Char up a little bit. It's like that beautiful mix all together. Um, go in 12 minutes. Might be wrong, but it might be right. Okay. Our finished holiday product for a side dish or salad. This is our roasted baby carrots, our goat cheese, our candy pecans, our craisins. I just a little bit of lemon vinaigrette on top of my greens. I use spinach. You can use arugula. I think originally my plan was um, arugula, but I only had spinach. But look how beautiful, how colorful, how different and fun this is. For a side dish, it could sit room temp. Now you can enjoy your party and be a guest, or you could just throw this on the table. Loving it.